mentally, though. Are you okay? Are you kidding me? Are you okay? So how did Melissa McCarthy prep to play the man, the myth? The White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer? McCarthy spoke to The Hollywood Reporter's Lacey Rose about how she formed her impression. I just threw caution to the wind and was like, I'm not gonna try to mimic too much. There's so much irritation coming through his body. I'll just capture that. And then the hair and makeup team put on a half bald cap, eye bags, and the thing that really sells it, these prosthetics they put behind my ears. It turns out the motorized podium was all her idea. And as far as Lorne Michaels' advice for her take on Spicy goes, he didn't have much. McCarthy said, I never really wanted to be mean-spirited, but it didn't feel mean to me. And I was like, is this crazy? Are we gonna pull it off? And Lorne seemed to be just fine with it. He has such an incredible gut for stuff, and you see him pacing and listening. After the rehearsal, I was like, is that it? And he was like, we'll be fine. I've learned to just be like, all right, I'll blame you if it goes poorly. The actress, whose previous SNL guest turns have earned her four Emmy nominations, revealed that the response to her impression of the White House press secretary has really surprised her. According to McCarthy, people have stopped me and they're like, thank you, that was important to me. I'd say, it's just me doing my shtick. And they're like, no, I needed it. I don't think they're talking about what I'm doing so much as what the show is doing, which is giving a sense of relief at a time when a lot of people feel disappointed and depressed about where we are. Thanks to a red-hot political season, NBC's SNL enjoyed its best ratings in 23 years, not to mention the frequent 140-character attention of President Donald Trump. For the full interview with Melissa McCarthy, including more on her guest-starring role on Nobodies, a show on which she and her husband serve as executive producers, check out THR.com. I'm Tiffany Taylor for The Hollywood Reporter News.